To work the brain without sufficient material is like racing an engine. It cracks itself to pieces. I seem to remember there was one episode in which a syringe was disposed of. The interesting thing is that I think the original, at the time the stories are set, that kind of drug thing was ex much more accepted. There are a lot of visual trademarks that are associated with, with Holmes, magnifying glass, deer stalking. Jeremy fought very hard to get away from that. The phrase elementary, my dear Watson, never existed in the series. Jeremy absolutely would not tolerate it. Wait, wait. And he fought tooth and nail. If it was ever mentioned, he would get into a, a rage about it, quite rightly. This is just like the old days. What to remember about Dr. Watson is that to some extent, if you're a doctor, you are a detective. Somebody comes to you and says, I've got a terrible pain. Yes, why have you got a pain? So there's a kind of, um, you know, there's a parallel between Watson and Holmes in that sense. And I think that's what attracts Watson to Holmes, is that in fact, he, they are both detectives in a different way. Please, this is Baker Street, not Harley Street. I, I was very concerned about the fact that I was not tall enough. So I started out by um, quietly putting some lifts into my shoes because Jeremy was quite tall. But after about a week of walking about with these lifts in my shoes, um, it, they were dispensed because I looked more like something from the Ministry of Funny Walks, more like John Cleese walking about.